Hey, how's it going? This is John Victoria, the owner of Pollyanna Search Engine Optimization. And in today's presentation, we're going over three easy SEO checks to help boost your Google rankings. Each of the tests that we're going over take no more than one minute, so it won't take you any time at all. And it'll give you the chance to find improvements and opportunities to improve your SEO. And what that means for you is a better visibility online, as and a better visibility online also means additional business for you. So the first test we'll be going over is the PageSpeed Insights test. And this, this corresponds with having a better user experience because your website loads faster. Here's a quote actually directly from the Google Webmaster Central blog. You may have heard that here at Google we're obsessed with speed in our products and on the web. As part of that effort today we're including a new signal in our search ranking algorithms, site speed. Site speed reflects how quickly a website responds to web requests. A faster website translates to a better user experience, and if people are enjoying your site more, they're more willing to want to visit your business or purchase a product. And so one of the important factors and easy checks they can do is to see is, is your website fast enough? So the steps to do that I've shared with you here on the screen to check your site speed. And it's very simple. All you have to do is go to google.com and do a search for Google Page Speed Tools. Now the first result should be one from Google Developers, and it's entitled PageSpeed Tools Google Developers. All you have to do is click on that website, go there, and then there should be a bar that you can type in your URL into. And all you have to do is type your URL there, and then click Run Insights. And once you click Run Insights, what it'll do is it'll give you two options of um, PageSpeed tests that they've done. They've done one for your mobile site as well as for your desktop. And as a general rule of thumb, is that your website and your scores should be above 85 for each. What that says to Google is that your website, in their eyes, is fast enough, and it's also going to be providing a good user experience. And you want to be providing a great user experience because if Google sees that you're providing a great experience, they're more likely to want to promote you and increase and elevate your search rankings. The next test that we can do is the SSL certificate test. Uh, sorry, the SSL certificate check. And it's very simple, you know, is your site on HTTPS? Google, I mean, Google, if you take a look at any search result that you do, what people are finding now are that half of page one Google results are now HTTPS. We look at this correlation, if we want to be on the front page, you know, we want to be as competitive as possible. So if we see that half of page one Google results are now HTTPS, then maybe it's a good idea for have that for our site as well. And it's a very easy check to see if you have SSL installed. And SSL just means that your website is secure and it's securely transferring data between the two endpoints, which is your browser and a server. And so the easy check to do is you just have to type your URL into a Chrome web browser. If you're not using Chrome, I mean, you can use any other web browser as well. But for this sake, you can type into a Chrome web browser. And all you have to do is look at the top of the URL bar to see if your site is secure. If you type it into Google um, Chrome, you'll see that there is a green lock. And the green lock, it's a great credibility indicator for your website. It also means that, the, that your website is being read as secure. If you don't have HTTPS or if you don't have the green lock, then that's something that you should fix and that's a potential improvement for your site. Especially if you're trying to be more competitive, you're trying to build trust and credibility with your customer, having that secure lock and HTTPS is great in terms of conversion as well as your search engine results. The last check that we can do, this is the third one, is the mobile friendly check. The majority of people are now accessing the web using their what their devices. So their, their phones, their tablets, you know, their iPhones, their iPads, their Android devices. People are, are using and accessing the web through their mobile devices. And this is only going to become more of a greater trend as we go through time. And so here's another quote by Barry Schwartz, who is a writer for Search Engine Land. And Google said that on April 21st, 2015, Google's mobile ranking factors will not only label your site as mobile friendly, but will also use that to determine if your site should rank higher in the search results. Google said that this algorithmic change will have a significant impact in the mobile search results impacting all languages worldwide. So it doesn't matter where you are located in the world. Having a mobile-friendly site has a significant impact on mobile search results. And so if you want to access, you know, majority of the world, I mean, a lot of, a majority of people, most people are going to be accessing your website and the web through their phones. 
So if you want to tap into that market and be ever visible to them whenever they have a problem, they find your business, then you want to have a mobile friendly site. It's very critical to you. And it's very easy to check to see if your website is mobile friendly. All you have to do is go to google.com and do a web search for Google mobile friendly test. Type in your website in and click run test. As you can see that Google has a rich snippet which pops up in their search results. So you don't have to actually click through to the website. You can type it in directly from your Google search. And then just see if your result says page is mobile friendly. If it's not, that's something that you should address because that means that you are getting discredited or getting a lower positioning than you could have if you had a mobile friendly site. Online is becoming a more competitive space and so you want every single advantage they can get to, be, um, to have a better search presence. Your competitors most likely have a mobile friendly test and if you don't have or have a mobile friendly site and if you don't have that then you're behind the eight ball in this case and so one of the things i'm curious about you know if you want to leave in the comments or if you want to send me a direct message you know how many tests did you pass did you pass the mobile friendly test the secure the ssl certificate test and the page speed test if you passed all three then you are many times an anomaly in terms of your um in terms of your competition and your industry because a majority of people don't have webmasters or SEOs who are helping them pass all these tests. All these tests and all these checks are critical because they really help elevate your search engine results and you want to do that in order for you to connect with your customer first before any of your competitors because if you do that, that means you're making more money for your business. So that's the end of this video. Thank you for joining us today. And uh, please make sure to actually try these tests out to see if you are passing them. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you soon and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.